Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and today I'm going to be reviewing Rehearsing Your Mistakes by Angel Simao. So before we do that, can you please like, subscribe and have a look at cardmagiccourse.com. That's my online card magic course, hundreds of videos, years in the making, and I'm adding videos to it every week and loads of really exciting things happen. We're going to have guest uh, lecturers on there every month and there are two different memberships. You can join and just get the recorded stuff, the stuff that's, up, the stuff that's uploaded as well as the live sessions or if you want to get involved on the Discord channel and attend the live sessions every single week with me, uh, that's the, the $22.99 a month. So have a look at that. This is an interesting one because we all have that thing, don't we, of being scared of things going wrong. Everybody does when they perform. It's the first thing we think about. What if this, what if this, what if this? And it is an inevitability, but with magic, it's even more because, yeah, everybody asks me, you know, what do you do if a trick goes wrong? People are fascinated by it because to them, it's the ultimate humiliation. And, and it's, it, it does stop many of us from performing ever, I think. I know people that have wanted to perform for ages and it just becomes such a barrier that they never do it. And it's a real shame. This is, is a great book for for all of us i think to overcome that issue so it there's two things with this book really it talks about avoiding mistakes but also the inevitability of them even with that preparation and how we can work with them so i'm not going to go into detail about everything that's in it it's not a massive book but it's it is substantial it's got he's packed a lot into this so um angel and <laughs> i find the pronunciation but i want to get it right angel um, is a uh, is a Spanish magician, and I'm sure I think I might have even met him in Valladolid uh, many years ago. But uh, wrote this in New Zealand. I think he kind of went off and he he kind of isolated himself and and, and wrote this book. And he's uh, as he said, he's very proud of him, and it means a lot. And he and he's got a lot to be proud of. It's a really practical, really important book for many of us, I think. So it starts off with the. Um, an intro introduction by Norbert Ferrer, uh, which I think I have mispronounced. I'm so sorry, but wonderful magician who I saw perform his multiplying balls routine, which was just stunning. Uh, and, and then starts off with this lovely story about being on a bike and falling off a bike and how learning is, is in failure is an important part of what we do. And then it's straight into the practical stuff. So there's a whole thing on improv and there's some really good exercises in this and, and getting us to think around improv as being actually a realistic part of our performance and how we can actually think about that as a comfort zone and for me it definitely is you know improvisation is something that isn't as difficult as it sounds and can really get us out of trouble forecast in the future now this is great he's got this process that you can go through which is basically a risk assessment for yourself and you you're highlighting all the things that could go wrong and really putting some thought into this and for someone who's done this recently and actually i did do this it gives you a really nice feeling of, of comfort and also alleviates those nerves that we get. Because even, you know, we get so nervous, but we don't put the time into actually avoiding that nervousness. And don't get me wrong, he says in it that it's important to get a certain amount of that. But how do we stop it becoming an issue? And there is something about, which I've always taught people, about preparation. If you, the more you prepare, the less nervous you are. And, and I've really experienced that recently. And he takes you through a process to prepare. So you can really be kind of armed in case and have a, a sort of toolkit of ideas in case things go wrong. Um, I know I'm reading the um, through it and I have, as you can see, I've completely been through this a couple of times. It's just got some, you can always tell because it's got loads of these in it. Um, and I was going to start quoting from it, but there's just too much. Uh, searching for the mistake, the idea of, of putting, you know, and we see this in mentalism quite a lot, putting mistakes in to create that connection with an audience. And I'm a big fan of this as well. To, there's a moment recently that I did that they really thought had failed. And it's a lovely moment where you create that tension, that challenge, which is part of any story arc, you know, but they really believe it. And then you get that relief and that payback when it, that payoff when it comes, comes off at the end. And to put that into the shows, which is really brave, you know, he says, you've got to do it properly. You don't want to kind of do it and then it doesn't work out. It's a, it's a kind of, there's a courage to it. But he talks you through how to approach that as well. And there's a whole bit on creativity at the end, which, again, he kind of said, you know, I wasn't going to do this because there are whole books on this. And he's got some really good recommendations in there as well, but gives you a kind of the tip of the iceberg 
uh, with creativity, which again, can, it's, it's enough to kind of get us thinking. And for, for those people who think we're not creative people, I've learned recently that is nonsense. We can all do it given the right guidance. And this book really does uh, give, the, give the guidance. And, and the chapter on the point of no return, that idea of, you know, there's all this stuff we can do to avoid it. There's all this stuff, ways of getting out of it. But sometimes we've just got, we build up to a moment, it goes wrong. They know it's gone wrong. We know it's gone wrong. We can't do anything to hide it. We've just got to accept it. And how do we do that? So you've got everything in here to cover you for the thing we all fear, that thing that cannot be named. <laughs> you know, it's kind of getting the truth wrong, which we've all done. And I've done it recently. I did it. I did it in front of people doing The Stranger. So the whole thing about The Stranger is you build it up to this moment. There's somebody else on the end of the phone and you fail twice and they finally get there. And you go, what's the, what's the card? And then you realise you've got it wrong and you, you basically they're going to say the wrong card. And it's a big build up and it goes wrong. And it's the worst thing that can happen. But when that happened recently, it's amazing. People were like, we love that bit. And so we, we kind of worry about it too much as well. And again, he covers our perception in this as well, our perception of failure in the audiences perception and how that can be different. I think this is brilliant. There are a couple of issues with it and they're kind of, they're good things really and bad things. This, I think, should be one of those books that you can judge by the cover. Now, don't get me wrong, it's a great cover, the illustrations are brilliant, all that kind of thing, but it doesn't look like the important book that it is and I think it is an important book. I don't think there's been enough written on this. And I, it's, you know, it's, it sounds ridiculous, but we do judge books by the cover, don't we? Uh, now they say you shan't, but you shouldn't. Uh, apparently people do say that, but we do. And I think this is one of those books that, I know, I know that various um, dealers sell it, but it almost should be taken, given a really nice, you know, it's an important book and it should look like a really important book. And it, it does look a little bit on the sort of self-published side, side, which I suppose it is. Um, but I want people to think this is an important book and, and rightly or wrongly, we do judge that on what it looks like. It, it kind of needs to be taken and, and given the care and attention it needs and how it looks as, as, to match the care and attention that he's clearly put into writing this. And on that, um, Angel has written this in English, so it's not a, um, a translation. And there are moments in it where can I, I can see the poetry in it. I can see how good a writer he is. I think a little bit of that is lost in translation. There are some grammatical stuff in it that I kind of gone, that could have, could, and it was more, if he wasn't clearly such a nice writer, it wouldn't be a problem, but I could see it and I wanted to feel that poetry and it felt like it needed someone who was really skilled in translation to capture his writing, but to translate it to English so we could feel that writing as well, because there were moments in it where I felt that it was, it was lovely and poetic and not in a flowery, pretentious way, which I think some of these books can sound like. It wasn't like that. It felt like a, it was a really, I wanted more of that and I wanted to, I felt like a little bit dissociated from it because of the, some of the grammatical stuff. And that's, and, you know, and what a, an achievement to do that, you know, and to write a book in your second language isn't an easy thing to do. And it totally makes sense. It's not that, but I kind of felt again, it's like I wanted someone to kind of nurture it and, and, and you know, make it, a memorable book because I know a lot of people don't know about this. I've told people and they, they still don't know about it. Um, and I'm, so I'm glad I'm reviewing it. So there you go. Um, do use the links below. Do check it out. And I recommend this to everybody, not just professional performers, everybody to get over that thing of, um, of, of fear of performing. I think this will help you a great deal. And it's very inspirational and it's really good. And, and I think you should be very proud of it. And, and I'm really glad I've read it. And it helped me, importantly. You know, it really helped me in my show. So uh, use links below, as I said. Uh, do like, subscribe, check out cardmagiccourse.com. Do it now. Go on, have a look at it. Just click on it. Have a little scroll and, uh, and ask any questions you want. Take care. Have a good one. Bye.